الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام رسول الکریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان اسلام اینڈ ان ہیومینٹی السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں پیس مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگ آف اللہ بی اپون یو ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک از صحیح البخاری حدیث نمبر ایٹی سیون دا بک آف ادیات بلڈ منی حدیث نمبر سکس ایٹ سکس فائیو نریٹیڈ المتا بن امر الخندی این علی آف بنی زہرا ہو ٹوک پارٹ ان دا بیٹل آف بدر ود دا پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دیٹ ہی سیٹ او اللہ مسنجر اف آئی میٹ آ ڈس بلیور اینڈ وی ہیو اے فائٹ and he strikes my hand with the sword and cut it off and then takes refuge from me under a tree and says i have surrendered to allah for example embraced islam should i kill him after he has said so allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said do not kill him al miqdad said o oh allah's messenger He had chopped off one of my hands and he said that after he had cut it off should I kill him the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said do not kill him for if you kill him he would be in the position in which you had been before you kill him a believer and you would be in the position in which he was before he said the sentence حدیث نمبر سکس ایٹ سکس سکس نریٹیڈ ابن عباس رضی اللہ عنہ دا پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے ٹو المتا اف آ فیتھ فل بلیور کنسیوز ہز فیتھ اسلام فروم دا ڈس بلیورس اینڈ دین وین ہی ڈکلیئرس ہز اسلام یو کل ہیم یو ول بی سن فل ریمبر that you were also concealing your faith islam at makkah before chapter 2 the statement of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if anyone saved a life al quran 5 verse 32 ibn abbas said anyone who regards killing as prohibited except for a just cause then it would be as if he saved the life of all mankind hadith number 6867 narrated abdullah radiyallahu anhu the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no no human being is killed or murdered unjustly but a part of responsibility for the crime is laid on the first son of adam who started the first killing murdering on the earth it is said that he was kabil hadith number 6868 narrated abdullah ibn umar radiyallahu anhu the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said after me for example after my death do not become disbelievers by striking cutting the necks of one another hadith number 6869 narrated Abu Zora bin Amr bin Jirar the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said during Hajjatul Wida let the people be quiet and listen to me after me for example after my death do not become disbelievers by striking cutting the necks of one and other hadith number 6870 narrated Abdullah bin Amr رضی اللہ عنہما The Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said Al-Kabir The biggest sin are to join others as partners in worship with Allah to be undutiful to one's parents or said to take a false oath The sub-narrator Saba is not sure as to the correct expression the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم used Ma'ul said, Sabah said, Al-Kabir, the biggest sins are Number one, 
joining others as partners in worship with Allah number 2 to take a false oath number 3 and to be undutiful to one's parents or said to murder someone unlawfully wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh